All right, I got a tour guide with me today. This is Abby, that's Brian's mom. That's Nikki. Tell me, tell me again about uh, this area we were, the crazy road that we were just at. This is all strip mines or not? What do y'all call it out of, here? We call it the Balance Pits. It's um, in Anson County in North Carolina. And these pits have been dug out for many years. Uh, there's a gravel company that was here. And I was out exploring one day. I, wanted, I hadn't visited them in a long time. The water used to be a really beautiful emerald green. And all of them and... Uh, it seemed like they were a lot more accessible, but we happened upon that crazy road, and <laughs> I thought, we we're going to go in the water, and then it levels out, but I'm totally captivated. It's just the prettiest one. You can see a lot of wildlife, um, a lot of different colors in the layers of earth that they dig, and some are just this beautiful, deep, russet color. So, uh, the company changed hands. The man who lives in the huge house back there understands all of us and um, sell the company. So I guess it's what he gives to the herd. Ah, built a nice house. Yeah. Now back home, we would just we call all this uh, just strip mine land, and I guess they 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 mine rock out here and gravel. They don't mine coal out here, but but you can see. See, it's kind of dead. We see the green. Oh, it, oh that's all right. It, we it, see the green it devastates the land. It leaves pretty ponds and whatnot, but it really, as you can see, they kind of they kind of devastate the land out here. Yeah. They did this. They did this back home in Kentucky. We call it strip mining. There's some equipment. I don't know if you can you can see it, but there's some equipment and a little bitty tiny cute little drag line out there. Cotton field. Brian grew up in uh, Cordova, North Carolina. There's cotton. I don't know how racially charged filming cotton will be, but it grows here. The peas and carrot tree from Forest Gump. Wait, say that again. Just say that for me. Say that. That looks like the peas and carrot tree from Forest okay. Gump. Well, I love a South Carolina or a North Carolina yeah, a accent. More Completely different than mine. This house here is a is that a sign? Is a registered there? house? Yes, uh, there is a sign there. I think it was built before the Civil War. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's just had, pull right on in the driveway. She had relatives. They shouldn't have a sign in the front door. For you know, this is the old kitchen. kitchen. Yeah, I can see. I can see the two smokestacks, so you probably had had one had one full fireplace for the living room, the main yes. part of the house, and the back one was probably for the kitchen. Yes. Yep. That's and a. She had relatives that had been in the Civil and Revolutionary War. Right in Georgia. Here comes the truck. <laughs> so right now we're in what's it, what's the name of the town we're in? Sheraw, South Carolina. We're in Sheraw, South Carolina. It's 10 or 15 miles south of uh, of Rockingham or thereabouts. And uh, so we're pulling into, we are in the historic district, Enfield, hang on, built by General Erasmus Powell, P-O-W-E, Poe, 
between 1812 and 1820. He also planted the entrance avenue with cedars. Union General O. O. Howard, uh, Union, uh, commander of Sherman's right wing, made his headquarters here in March 1865. on teeth. Because I walk with a weevil wobble and this takes some of the weevil wobble out of my step. Okay. Abby and I are going across to uh to see statue of Dibby, Dizzy Gillespie. Oh yes he was a jazz magi musician, played a trumpet, among other things. What's the name of the town again? Sarah. So there's... Here we go. And there's a little fire on it. John Burke Gillespie Dizzy, 1917 to 1993. Sarah, South Carolina. In 1941, he took over for his idol Royal Eldridge and Teddy Hill's band. In 1944, Dizzy had emerged as the leading trumpeter of the new music with such hits as 52nd Street Theme, Night in Tunisia, Old Man Bebop, Anthropology, Blue and Boogie, One Bass Hit, oh, whole bunch of stuff. Anyway, so we're in Shiraw. Lots of great old buildings down here. Uh, lots of Civil War stuff. Uh, man, before the Civil War, right across the street. See if I can zoom in on this building over here. I don't know what that building was, but it is certainly pre-Civil War. All right, Abby's over here. Abby takes pictures, has a big following on Instagram for some of her photography. I'll see if I can drop a link to her Instagram down in the bottom in the comments. So look for that. What's that? Nice. Nice.
Hi, I'm Neil, Trample Amputee, who loves to ride motorcycles, train some jujitsu, and travel in my, all across the country in my teardrop camper. I really appreciate you watching my video, and if you liked it, if you don't care, give it a thumbs up. If you want to, you can subscribe right down here, check out a few other of my videos. I've written a few books, so if you want to check those out, they're right down here. See you on the next video.